so essentially, you know, I miss all the money I don't have yet, you know, so um, if I get to, to meet you one day in the future, you know, this will be, you know, a family reunion of sorts and a, a blessing of eternal greatness and uh, gratitude and, uh, and abundance and... Uh, so does she speak adequately? Does she have your baby? Does she go down on you in the middle of dinner or something like this? You. So this cup here gives me a chance at winning um, a Jeep, a Compass, uh, also a free donut or coffee. Um, I do have a free uh, rim that I rolled up previously um, the other day. Uh, winning a Compass, you know, uh, being in, in, uh, uh, as, as attached to my Nissan Sentra as I am, um, winning a Compass, you know, it would be kind of like, you know, I'm driving Austin Matthews and now I just won a Tavares. Um, so, you know, what do you do with, you know, two frontline centers in your life if you have limited uh, parking space on the driveway? Uh, so instead of selling a compass, maybe if I would sell my Sentra and keep the compass, no, I, I couldn't, you know, get rid of it for a diminished value. You know, how much would they give me? Like, maybe Woodbine would give me 10,000 for it or whatnot. It has, it has 55, 58,000 uh, kilometers, uh, 2015. So I'm not sure if the security guard outside the casino is looking for a reason uh, to chase me down, beat me down, steal my wallet, leave me his uniform um, so I could cover for him while he goes to the strip club and uh, sp spends my lap dance money or whatever he thinks that's for. Yo, that's for ride sharing, man, uh, to get me beer money if I, if need be or whatnot, yo. Or essentially, I mean, that's gas money, man, so, you know, just, you know, if all, all the money in the account, uh, you know, magically disappears from uh, bill collectioners or whatnot, so, uh, and uh, has some overdraft issues or uh, NSFs, you know, you know, if, if I'm watching the bills pile up. Uh, apparently the feminists say uh, I'm not allowed to show any action of being surprised, you know, they want to have that market covered, they want to be uh, the golden archer, so to say, of mankind, uh, you know, and brighten people's day with their arched eyebrows or whatnot, or, you know, I'm not sure where they're going with that, if there's some kind of power associated with... So apparently, you know, feminists in the, in the market are end zone, so to say, to uh, uh, bless people with their appearance and their looks and their beauty or whatnot, you know. But, you know, how about, you know, if I'm there affecting people with my heart, you know, with, uh, uh, with my uh, uh, mental capabilities and, um, you know, insight or whatnot. So fortunately, I brought my flute with me. Um, uh, it's my wooden flute. It's it's uh, it's kind of a, it's got a flower painted on it. Uh, I got it in Key West um, in 2004. And I drove up there in my Sunfire. You know, it was kind of a, a long watery. Uh, so you know, it's a good uh, discussing sports with Chuck Swarski. Uh, she's doing a good job uh, um, with her eye makeup and uh, and. Uh, the way she uh, uh, assimilates her face to the viewership as being surprised. Meanwhile, I think she knows entirely everything that's going around and tries to act numb to the fact that people uh, ascertain from watching uh, female feminists is that, you know, they could do a good job of painting their face to look surprised. Uh, rosy cheeks, eyebrows, whatnot. Meanwhile, they, they're well aware of all the, all the inhumane act activity that's going around worldwide. Um, but they want to justify this uh, with ignorance or... So the female feminists, they paint their face to appear unaware. If we make them aware of what's going on, um, uh, what will happen to their faces? Will they wear less makeup? Will it save them money? Uh, will uh, Revlon go out of, out of service or out of business? Um, will the cosmeticians um, lose followership or... Meaning, you know, uh, uh, you know, technically speaking, they are fronting. Uh, they know what's going on, but they paint their face to look surprised. Meanwhile, I have no idea what the fuck is going on, and um, I'm not allowed to look surprised at all. I'm just, you know, you know, just uh, trying to practice my flute playing um, so I can make a hot hit. So pretty much, you know, the men, we should be snatching up their blush, their eyeliner, their foundation, and we should be the ones being able to paint our faces and wear makeup to look surprised if the women, indeed, in fact, are not surprised. And... This is a sort of uh, a turnabout's a fair play, so to say, and whatnot. So, uh, if you, she's looking surprised right there, but in fact, she's not surprised at all. She knows everything that's fucking going on. She knows, um, like, this motherfucker here has no idea. You know, he should be the one painting his face. 
Um, and this race is uh, uh, 54 minutes to start. Um, I like the seven horse. Um, um, so in fact, if the seven the seven ass is a uh, mama D, if I'm professing uh, my liking of this horse, um, uh, should I convocate that uh, or, or celebrate that with a wager of two dollars? Uh, to win um, uh, Schneise uh, right on the whisker, right at the wire, um, you know. I tried blowing into the flute, um, the wooden flute, um, you know, I was, I was blowing in profusely actually. I couldn't get in and generate sound, um, so, uh, you know, I might have to drive back to Key West and get another one if, they, if, they, if they're still open there. Um, so I don't know if, I'm, if I have the time after, after working here and then... Um, I brought my flute because, you know, my manager, she always used to think of me as a flute playing Packy, so, um, I, you know, I just wanted to see, you know, maybe she's trying to help me out or lead me into a certain direction, so I, I found my flute, um, you know, that I got from Key West, but I blew into it, and, um, so, you know, the problem with the security guard, man, um, you know, he's kind of looking at me because I looked uh, somewhat appreciated. So then he was feeling unappreciated being a security guard. Um, so uh, you know, you know, not that I couldn't relate. I've been in multiple jobs where I, w I felt unappreciated and shit. So uh, so the race is about to start uh, shortly, 25 minutes. So you know, if uh, if my two horse wins, you know, at six to one, you know, I might get so excited I might uh, jack off and ejaculate all over the screen. And you know, walk out a fucking millionaire, you. Um, so if they want to see me jack off in a jack, see this girl on the screen right now. She's looking surprised, but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, whatever she, her, her face is uh, dictating her, or whatever she appears to be surprised about. And in fact, um, in my estimation, um, she uh, is not surprised at all. At all, at all. Uh, if um, if ain't nothing gonna break her, uh, my stride, um, you got to keep on moving. So the problem is, uh, I think with the older person out at the racetrack, you know, they said you know it's not as cool. It's not it's not a cool place to be anymore. It's it's because you know I think you're not supposed to stay in the same place your whole life, man. You're supposed to, to latch on to why you're here in the first place, uh, get the job done, and then move on. Um, so, uh, you know, maybe they came here and they didn't uh, finish what they were set uh, or were supposed to accomplish here. And so now uh, people lost uh, patience with them and, uh, and maybe it's not a cool place for them uh, any further or any more. But, um, uh, so about to start the opening race at Gulfstream. Um, uh, getting into the gate uh, right now, that's uh, six, um, violent trick. And, um, you know, they giving him a little assistance uh, getting into the stall. Um, see the seven right there as well. Uh, so, uh, loaded in there. And uh, about to get underway. Uh, it's not in any trouble. So, loaded in. Uh, ready to uh, dumb a loot, dumb a shoot. And uh, here we go. Um, uh, any second now, any minute now. Okay, the last horse is loaded in, uh, locked and loaded. Um, they, I think they're wondering if my horse wins that I bet the two horse. Will I uh, um, jerk off onto the screen and uh, at least a substance uh, exploded? Uh, so um, you can see here the five ass is uh, uh, sister uh, Gemma, a uh, Gemma, and um, well, we got an eight. And a one ass um, that is uh, forever martyr, and um, uh, my gray ass is uh, is uh, riding along smoothly at this point. Um, he looks like he has a lot of problems coming in from behind. So the horse looks asleep, and um, you know doesn't look interested in uh, uh, winning this race. Uh, but here comes a, a, um, a, a horse. Um, that is, uh, he's surging up on the outside, but he's got some company in the middle. The six ass. So the six ass looks like uh, he's in cruise control and he's gonna win this race. Six ass all the way, all the way with the ass of the six. See, the ass of the six ass is uh, is the ass in the lead. So the ass, the ass of the six, as uh, you know. 
as uh, as they say at the racetrack, um, uh, six ass uh, all the way to the wire. Yeah, so somebody appeared to have uh, actually smashed inside the, the beer store like uh, earlier reported. So I'm just going to check the statistics, uh, check the stock of, uh, of my favorite beers. Um, see, uh, I'm just going to press premium and uh, you can see all the beers, the selection appears on the screen. I'm back at the beer store again even though with LCBO uh, they have Corona for 4 15 and they offer you a free paper bag um, saving you 5 cents. And here they're calling the workers here stoners for me selling you a bag for five cents and making it four twenty. So they said if you concentrate on your beer uh, drinking and less herbal supply. And so I was talking to the beer store girl. Um, she had um a Corona uh, extra in stock. Um, no heiny. Um, so she said I'm out of my heinies. And um, you know, I told her about wine. So I said, um, should I go with beer or wine before Leaf Games? Uh, because I was talking about my coworker and and the, the advocate of the wine drink. So now that I've caught up to all the smashing, hashing, and dashing, and crashing, and mashing, and bashing, um, um, more I'm interested in, uh, making, in making movies, making films, um, you know, um, you know, websites, um, you know, things to polish me up and, um, get me ready. So now that I've caught up to all the smashing, hashing, and dashing, and crashing, and mashing, and bashing, um, um, more I'm interested in, uh, making, in making movies, making films, um, you know, um, you know, websites, um, you know, things to polish me up and, um, get me ready. Uh, so I'm just waiting for a takeout order at Ginza and, uh, you know, s some people here at the table, um, uh, uh, they look surprised, so they're not surprised about something at all, so I'm trying to figure out, you know, what they're not surprised about, I, um, you know, so, you know. So they offer quick service here, so, you know, if they're, if they're dressed up looking surprised, then if the anticipation of some sort of surprise party or gathering or whatnot, um, you know, uh, yesterday, you know, the, the spicy salmon was phenomenal, um, you know, uh, and plus you get um, egg rolls. Um, I, I mean, um, instead of uh, the plugging, of, you know, you could actually make your sneeze go away with mind power um, by actually, you know, uh, simulating a. Uh, opening of the passages, uh, which just enables uh, 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 more uh, breathability, uh, alleviating the need uh, for relief uh, with a sneeze or whatnot. So, um, so I got the shit spicy salmon uh, roll, eight pieces in there. I'm not sure if they gave me egg rolls with uh, plum sauce or sweet and sour sauce, and uh, uh, gonna make a run for it like LJ um, uh, to home base uh, to the uh, to the ozone. I mean to the to the planetarium, I mean to NASA headquarters, to the end zone. Yeah, if the police, um, I look like a mid suspect in the mid of, uh, Honey or Barry Sherman, I don't think this is a distinct possibility. Um, I was at work at the time, um, I was in the locker room, um, Rux informed me, uh, what, of what went down, and we, uh, went into the war, into the room, um, to have a you know, if the, if the security guard at Woodbine was accusing me of a uh, uh, possibility of being a murderer of uh, of sorts, um, if he thinks I was involved in uh, what happened um, uh, earlier uh, last year, or or, or um, it's been over a year now, um, so if it, all the staff at Appletex, um, if they were blaming me for every uh, thing, uh, Tom Dick, every little thing that went wrong when I was inside the company. Um, now if I'm outside the company, if all the people are blaming me for the only thing they know about, uh, a murder, you know, this is preposterous, and... Essentially, this is a bloody bumble shoot. If you're trying to say, um, I was responsible for the murder of, uh, Barry and, uh, fucking Honey Sherman, fuck off, man. How the fuck could I be in two places at one time when I'm fucking, uh, on, uh, Crew 4, um, fucking, I never miss my shit. You know, if Detective Man trying to say, uh, Daddy Illuminice, or uh, V-126, uh, Vichal Sethi, um, um, if they trying to say, if Detective Man trying to say Illuminice stabbed, uh, Honey or Barry, Sh or, or Barry Sherman down, uh, memory lane, and, uh, Aliki Boom Boom. Yo, know, so if Detective Man trying to say Daddy Illuminice, uh, might have stabbed, um, um, uh, honey, I bury Sherman down, uh, down the lane, and if my cousin Aaron is trying to back them up by saying, 
um, he probably smoked so much ganja um, at the pharmaceutical uh, company he worked in, like fucking uh, Dave Chappelle.